Also in Shanghai, our own Julian Wahan interviewed Marco Mahler, a member of the jury at the 24th Shanghai International Film Festival. The Italian film critic and producer told Julian he strongly believes that Chinese cinema will continue to be full of surprises. Let's take a listen. <laughs> You see, again, I mean, I have to go back to my discussions with the leaders of the Shanghai Film Academy and of the Shanghai University, because when I signed my contract with the university, I proposed one class that would correspond to something that is still missing in China, a class about film cultural translation, which would not mean simply how to create better subtitles. It would really mean trying to make it possible for the exchange to develop further in the sense that people abroad must grasp, you know, the complexity, the different layers within Chinese culture. For most of my students, they have a decent level of English, they're quite fluent, but somehow the way they, they look at the non-Chinese speaking world is confined to what is normally regarded as American consumer society. I always insist with my students at the Shanghai Film Academy that please do not just watch, for instance, the, the excerpts of films I, I gave you uh, to study on your cell phone or your tablet. I mean, we really must make an effort to watch the films in the classroom on a big screen because it will make a difference. You will notice a lot of things that otherwise will be left completely unnoticed and not very relevant because film is a visual art and therefore it has to be seen under the right conditions of projection. I mean, again, this is one of the proposals I have made to the Shanghai University, that we should establish a film restoration lab, and that sometimes we might even be able to go back to the 35 millimeter negative, especially for some Chinese film classics. I now have become not only what you call in, in Chinese Shanghai Ninxu, a sh Shanghainese son-in-law, which, which is a concept that defines a very special, again, cultural attitude, but also the father of a half Shanghainese girl. I thought, okay, that is the right moment to move to China and to have my daughter growing in a Chinese environment. And, but definitely, and obviously, the main reason was, of course, the fact that now I can go back and work again with the first Chinese filmmakers whom I have met who were of my age when I was very young. Tian Zhuang Zhuang and Chen Kaige became my very first friends among Chinese filmmakers who were of my age. In that respect, I feel that it's easier for me to communicate with them because not only we came from, we came a long way, but because of, we, we have had similar experiences. I, I was also the very first person to introduce their films to the West. So they, they do understand the work that I want to continue doing. So I firmly believe that uh, Chinese cinema will continue to be full of surprises. <laughs>